Hello everyone, on this video we are going to learn how to implement a button navigation bar like this. If I select one item it changes here the section and uh, I can navigate through the items. So let's uh, build it. We are going to start from scratch. So I have here the application that comes with Flutter. You can see here. I just removed the comments and uh, set the mode banner as false. So now we can remove this because we don't need to pass this and uh, remove this as well. And you can remove all of this. Okay. New file, create the three sections you want. I'm going to call this one section one dot dart and uh, section two I made a typo here it's like this and uh, the third section section three that, that. all stateless widgets section three this one and we can import material dot dart here set the constraint to expand to take all space available so box constraint dot expand color this one i'm going to give the color yellow and as a shell as center and a text here. The text is going to say section three. Okay, now I'm going to also give a style because this style is shared between the three sections. I am going to create a new file called constants. In this file I'm going to create the text style, the section text style. Text style and font size. I uh, know not font family, font size is thirty and the font aid to both save it and now we can use it style and I call it like this and import it Okay, save it and we can copy all this and create a section one Should change here to section one and here one this one the color is red save it and same thing to the second section so here section two the color green and here section 2 ok now go back to the main dot dart and here create a variable to place the selected index starts at 0 and now the list 
of sections. So list and it's a list of widgets, widget, private and widget options equals and widget and by the way if you want to use this source code you can i will leave a link in the description and also the photo documentation is really good and uh, you can check that as well i recommend it so section one section two and section three okay and now we we can create the on top method so it's, it, it returns a boy and on item top it takes the index and it sets the state when the item is tapped because when you tap on an item you want to change the the layout and run the build method again so select the index equals index now here the body is going to be the widget at the selected index so body and here go to the widget options this and uh, it is the element at selected index like this and if i save it you can see it's the first one now we need to add the bottom navigation but just to show you if i change this to one and press here it's changing and to two it changed as well now to place the bottom navigation go here put bottom navigation and create a bottom navigation widget and as items it is the first one that's a bottom navigation item and it takes the icon and do icon for the first one I will put here a random icon so icons dot auto fix high this one and the label is going to be red because the first item is red so before I forget put the start index at zero now the next one item the icon I will put here a random icon as well uh, select here the face and uh, the label let me check I put green okay so green like this uh, just per case and okay like this and now the last one but you can see already we have two items here so bottom nav navigation and the icon takes the icon icons like this and 
I'll put this one and the label yellow. Starts with uppercase. Okay, and you can see it's not working yet because we need to pass the on top. And uh, I'm going to do that now. So put the current index as the selected index. The selected item color as colors dot and I will put bool and the on tap is the function we created so on item tap okay should I'll be working now let's test it so yellow and it's yellow green and red as well so thanks guys for watching and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the like button see you in the next one